Well today let's talk about dishes because I have simplified the dishes in our kitchen quite a bit. Our plates, bowls, pots and pans, all of that I've highly simplified but I had been feeling like we could go further. So today I want to show you how we've simplified our dishes even more and let you know how it's been working. from The Minimal Mom and we just enjoy sharing about our family's minimalist lifestyle. Basically trying to live with as little as possible but you don't have to want to be a minimalist to just want your kitchen to be simpler and to function better especially if you have kids. And so today I want to talk about how we've simplified our dishes even further to try and just make our kitchen less messy and for it to be easier to stay on top of. So I'll show you what we had for dishes and then how we've simplified them further and basically let you know how it's been working for our family. So in the past I've talked about how we had simplified our dishes to the point where we could go a whole day and have enough to use for the day but no more than that. And so at the end of the night, everything fit in the dishwasher, we would have to run it or we didn't have dishes for the next day. And that had been working really well. What I was trying to get away from was where people could just keep pulling stuff out of the cupboards and pulling more and more and more until we had this huge pile next to the sink and it was overwhelming to me. And then I just felt defeated and would just leave the room <laughs> rather than tackle all the dishes that had accumulated over the course of a few, few days. So this had been working well for us, but this summer I'd been noticing how the dishes were still piling up next to the sink and it just kind of made our kitchen feel messy and chaotic. And Tom has often told me that when the kitchen is clean, he feels like the house is under control. And I've come to realize that as well. There's just something about having the kitchen neat and tidy that is calming. It does. It makes it feel like things are okay. <laughs> and so it's not my normal tendency to be, you know, really particular and neat about tidying up throughout the day. But I had noticed that just by limiting the number of dishes we had that it had made a big difference. And so what we currently had for dishes was each child had two bowls, two plates, and two cups. And so that was kind of what we had determined would most days get us through the entire day. So here we were now with everybody home for summer break. We would most days have three meals at home, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And so the dishes would pile up next to the sink. And so I had been telling myself like, okay, you just need to stay on top of it. You have to tell the kids, you have to get your dishes into the dishwasher after you use them. And, but I mean, you know how summer goes, we'll have lunch and then two hours later, someone's hungry and then they're making something else and I'm trying to get work done. It's just not at the top of my list to then be the kitchen police either. And so it was taking too much management. And so I thought, you know what? I think the kids are getting old enough now where we could go down to just having a single plate and a single bowl and a single cup for each child and then they can wash their own after a meal and if they don't then they don't have a clean plate to eat on for the next meal so I mean at some point they're gonna have to wash it right so it kind of starts to manage itself so we could have just used some of the dishes we had and just scaled them back but I had been wanting to find something that wasn't plastic that could go in the microwave use your own convictions when it comes to using a microwave and what you put inside of it but for us we're trying to only put glass in there but also still be lightweight and durable for the kids to use so i found just plain white corral dishes at walmart and then i used a paint pen or a porcelain marker i don't know whatever it's called to make the designs on it so maggie wanted hearts so she got hearts and i put a different pattern on all of the dishes so each child could know which dish set was theirs and the nice thing about this if you don't know about your artistic skills is that until you bake it in the oven you can just wash it off and start over again so if your pattern isn't turning out how you would like it it's okay because you haven't baked it yet and then once you do like the pattern then you just put it in the oven for a half hour and it's dishwasher and microwave safe and it's not supposed to wear off so far it's holding up pretty well so I'll link to this paint marker it was like five dollars on Amazon and then the dishes that we're using it down below but again you don't have to get new dishes this was just a way for us to simplify our dishes I also for Tom and I I simplified our plates too so we have these two plates for us they're just a little bit bigger than the salad plates and then we have two larger Melmac plates and then as far as the cups I would like to upgrade these in the future but they each just have a color of cup so they have one cup now and when 
when they're not using it, they're welcome to set it on the counter in a row off to the side of the sink. So we don't wash, we wash the dishes after every use, but the cups we just wash at the end of the day. So I still run the dishwasher at the end of the night, but usually the only things we're putting in it are atomized plates and silverware cups, and then any baking dishes that we use to make dinner. And then with all the old dishes, I just put them in a box to put in the basement in case we needed any of them. I'm not gonna make any rash decisions here. So they're in a box in the basement and if we need to pull anything out, we can do that. There was a couple things that I knew I would need for this. We got an over the sink dish drying rack so that they can wash their dishes and just put it into there. And then we also got a palm scrubber. So I know there's all kinds of different things that you can use to wash dishes with. Um, this, I don't know, I like it a lot. It stores the soap in it. It's really easy for the kids to use but honestly so far this is working awesome yes sometimes there's some grumbling that they don't want to wash their dishes it's turned out to be a great consequence that if attitudes are going south they have to wash each other's dishes that has worked out well sometimes after a meal I'll run a sink full of soapy water and I'll just wash them for them if there's other things that I want to wash but overall it is working so well and yes sometimes you know there's dishes in the rack in the sink which but it just doesn't feel as cluttered to me as when it was all piled up next to the sink and I think too because they're just kind of simple white dishes it really doesn't bother me it looks fine I know we'll be using them again really soon so so far we're really happy I love how the cabinet looks now when everything's in there it's there's tons of space left in there and it's just really easy to see where everything is and so we really like it. But the great thing is that it's a really easy thing to test drive. So if you're not sure, you're not sure if your spouse could get on board or anyone else in your household, you can say, we're just gonna try it. All the dishes are just packed away in the box in the basement. So if we wanna pull stuff back out, we totally can, but it's actually really easy to experiment with. So it might be worth giving it a try. I don't know. I would love to know what you think. Would your family ever go for something like this? Or have you tried something like this? Please share that down below because that's always super helpful to hear what your experience has been or any other ways that you've simplified dishes. We would love to know about that. And probably the other area that we had simplified our dishes to this extreme is our pots and pans. So we literally have two pots and one frying pan. And then in the basement, I keep an extra cast iron frying pan and a stock pot. But I've said this before, one of our burners doesn't work on our stove, so we have three burners. So I find that it works just fine to only have three things that can go on the stove. I mean, I literally, once in a while, will pull up the stock pot, but I, it works so well. And I just love that we can't keep dirtying more and more dishes. If somebody wants to use the frying pan and it's dirty, they have to wash it. It's just, it's that simple. And now we just all know that and it's not a big deal and we don't even think twice about it. And so I'll also link, I love the two pots that we have. This one, it also serves as a Dutch oven so it can go in the oven. It's light, it's not so heavy. So if you're not super strong, it works well. I like the glass lid and I think it was like $22 on Amazon and I've had it for over five years. So I'll link to that down below as well as um, the other pot we have. I like it has the strainer lid and again, I had that for at least five years too and it has held up really well. So I think it's all you need. You know, we don't need to buy the big sets of pots and pans or if you know anyone that's setting up their own house, these would be great gifts for them too. So I'll link to those down below. But thank you so much for watching. A thumbs up is the best compliment you can give us. I hope you subscribe so we can spend more time together and I look forward to visiting with you again soon. <laughs> oh, and by the way, it was so funny how many of you said that you have glasses cases at home that you haven't been getting rid of. Even my sister called, she said, I have three glasses cases. <laughs> like, like, like I could somehow like see into her junk drawer or something, I don't know. So it's always good to remember that we're not alone or more alike than different at the end of the day. And so you're just definitely not alone. So I'll link to that video um, down below too. Hopefully it's helpful when you're trying to figure out what to do with silly things like glasses cases. <laughs>